Train Train Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Plain Train Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where of course we play it and trade it. We're diving into the American Vintage 2 Series from Fender. These are painstaking recreations, snapshots in time, if you will, of key Fender guitars from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I'm gonna be focusing on the 1975 Telecaster Deluxe, and just like the name implies, this was the top shelf, top of the line Telecaster. It also sports a pair of Cunife, Cunife, you can tell me in the comments how, to, how you pronounce it. Uh, it sports a set of Cunife pickups that were developed by Seth Lover. Yes, the same Seth Lover that Fender poached from Gibson and the same Seth Lover who developed the PAF or patent applied for famous humbuckers for the Gibson Les Paul. His work with Fender brought him to the Cunife, which is the periodic table of elements breakdown for copper, nickel, and iron, which would play a key role in this pickup. I'll tell you all about those specs when we take apart the guitar on the bench. Of course, we'll plug it in and play it, let you hear the guitar. But at the top, if you're in the market for any new gear, click to buy using our link because you support our channel when you do that. Also, be in it to win it. We're giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll give you my top takeaways from playing the 1975 Fender American Vintage 2 Telecaster Deluxe. And also, I'll give you my final score so you can compare this guitar to other demos across our channel. Let's dive into it. Let's head over to the bench and pull this guitar apart. All right, right out of the case, feels great in the hands, got a C-shaped neck, poly finish on this, not nitro, but we'll talk about all that, all the guts and glory of this guitar, Cunefe pickups right here, wide ranging humbucking pickups. Let's head over to the bench and pull it apart before we plug it in, I can't wait. All right, there's three Fender Telecasters in the American Vintage 2 series. You can get a 72 thin line, you can get this 75 Deluxe, or you can get a 78 Custom. And with the 75 Deluxe, it's gonna be the only one, we'll start up at the top of the headstock, where you'll notice this. It's got a big 70s style Stratocaster headstock. It's the only Tele to have that, and I think it actually looks really cool. 70s bullet truss rod, and the period correct tuners as well. We have a maple neck, 21 frets, modern nine and a half inch radius, and we have a C-shaped neck, which feels great in the hands, finished in poly. That's actually period correct because Fender started using poly instead of nitro in around 1967 or 1968. Coming down to the body, you can see this big guard, and I actually love the Gibson style controls. Check it out, you got a three-way toggle up on the left about. I love that, that's my favorite place for that switch. As I have the guitar flipped over, you can also see the 70s iconic three screw, three bolt pattern, and a comfort contour too, which is nice here on the Tele body itself. You don't always see that. This is one to own in your collection because it gives you some real contrast to the traditional Telecaster that you already have. I love the Gibson style controls on the Fender Tele, and I just love a good Telecaster. All right, popping the neck out. We have an alder body, you can see the alder down here. Maple neck, C-shape. Let's get some measurements on the neck while it's off the guitar. Got a real bone nut at 1.66 inches. First fret at 0.81 inches. Up to a 12th at 0.94 inches. Bullet style truss rod and also micro tilt adjust um, via the body here. We have a nine and a half inch modern Fender radius, 21 frets. And definitely a thicker gloss poly across the whole fretboard and back as well. Alder body comes in at 1.71 inches with the comfort cut as well. 16 screws, including a center screw holding on this big pick guard. I think it's such a great style though. I mean, you look at this and you say, although this is a Telecaster in name, there's really nothing that on the face of it <laughs> would have anything to do with a traditional Telecaster. It's kind of a different fresh take and it's a good reason why it'd be room in your collection for this one as well, since you're adding the wide range humbuckers. Let's flip this up and take a look at those. Okay, you can see the routes for the humbuckers, the controls, everything hand wired. Big slugs and a steel plate that you can't see that also contributes to the sound of these pickups. So these wide range humbuckers have been out of production since 1981. It's pretty cool that for this series, they brought this back to life. They're producing these for the first time in that many years. So let's flip on the multimeter and get a reading. 10.1 in bridge, 10.0 in neck, 5.0 combined. Seven pounds, 15 ounces, so we'll call it 7.9 pounds. Flipping the guitar around for an initial reaction, I noticed as I brought it back up to tension, I did have one string right at the verge of choking out. So I think what I'll do is just raise up the E string a little bit. 
but the feel of the neck itself, it's got a C shape. I like the gloss. The gloss poly is really present also on the fretboard itself. It's not terribly thin. It's a C shaped neck, so it does have a little bit more meat to it. I like that personally. I also really am digging the style of this big 70s Strat headstock on a telly. I just think it looks pretty cool. And I think this is just such a classic look. There are things they did in the CBS era of Fender that I think were home runs, and this is one of them in terms of looks. I also just love having Gibson controls on a telly because I love a Telecaster and I love a Les Paul. Combine them this way, you're making me very happy. So why don't we plug in and play? I'll let you hear some direct cleans. We'll dirty it up with a riff and then we'll let it sing behind a track. Remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, use our purchase link, click to buy. It supports our channel directly. And stay tuned at the end. I'll give you top takeaways from taking this apart and playing it. And I'll give you my final score. Let's plug it in and play it. It's always the best part.
Wow, what a trip. It's kind of like the love child of Fender and Gibson, and that's because Fender poached Seth Lover to develop these Cunefe wide range humbuckers that I think sound really good. First big takeaway is don't expect it to sound like a Telecaster. It still has that vibe, but it has something distinctly different, and that's why I think it fits perfectly in a Telecaster collection. It rounds out the standard sound from a Tele you would expect, but it's adding this wide range flair from these humbuckers, and I love it. Number two, I love the playing experience of having this toggle switch up there. Thank you. I love that. I love the Gibson controls. They're even giving you two volumes, two tones, independent controls for the humbuckers. I think that's a great touch also. Number three, the aesthetics. They went all out to nail this guitar as it would have been in 1975. Everything from pulling these pickups back into production, they've been out of production since 1981, to nail in all the cosmetic details and going the whole distance on this one. I really dig the Strat headstock on a Telecaster. Uh, the bullet truss rod, big headstock, three bolt construction, all those 70s things, that CBS era. This is one of the keepers from that era and I really enjoyed playing this, car, this guitar. Number four, let's talk sounds. The sounds on this are really impressive and it's unlike anything else I've heard from a Telecaster and that's why I think it's worthy of buying in its own right. Also because the construction, number five, is just flawless. I really had no issues whatsoever with the way the guitar was put together. It's balanced really well. I thought the voice was fantastic. And at the end of the day, I just wanna give you the information to make sure that when you're buying a guitar, you buy the right one for you. And if you're buying any gear, use our purchase link because when you buy gear using our link, it does support our channel. So thank you to all of you who have bought gear using our link. All right, as promised, I had you stay till the end of the video to give this guitar a score. I base my scores on three main categories, and that would be overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. I think the big pluses on this guitar are definitely going to be the playability. I love the C-shaped neck. I like a neck with a little more meat and that was a big standout to me. The gloss feel in the neck is also especially good as well. Um, some of the negatives, I think price, we have to talk price. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but the question is, did Fender nail this collection? For this 1975 Tele Deluxe that I played, I'd say they absolutely nailed it. So all things considered, when I put together and look at the total package, it comes with that beautiful hard shell case with the orange interior. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Fender Telecaster Deluxe from the American Vintage 2 Series a solid 8.7. 8.7, solid score, definitely worthy of a purchase. And I'd say the only thing probably keeping it from an A-rated guitar, just be with tiny nitpicky things. I had to do a little bit of set setup. I couldn't quite get the high E where I wanted it first, but I wrestled it into place, no problem. Included tools will let you adjust the saddles if need be. And then also price, I mean, but this is the world we live in. Prices on all guitars are going up. And so I think that if you're gonna pay higher dollar amounts for these guitars, you've gotta demand from the manufacturers that they give you the quality that you come to expect for that price. And I'd say in this instance, they did that. So I give it a solid score, 8.7. Thanks for watching our videos. Check out this next video in the link here. And also make sure you're subscribed or giving away that Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul. And remember to use our link when you're in the market for any new gear. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And thanks for hanging out with us on Play and Trade Guitars. <laughs>